So here's a portion of a housing develop development from Missoula, Montana. And as a part of her job, the development's lawn inspector has to walk down every street in the development, making sure that homeowners' lawns conforms to the con community recommendations. Now, you can sort of understand that if she has to do all this walking, she's going to want to figure out how to walk as little as possible, uh, ideally being able to walk the entire, uh, you know, development without having to backtrack along any streets. Uh, so if we're going to analyze this and start looking at it mathematically, uh, looking at this big, huge picture here, uh, is pretty complicated, and so we might try sort of simplifying things. Uh, and one way to do that is to say, let's identify sort of junction points. So let's identify places where streets meet, uh, or, you know, sort of where there's a corner. And so th we're going to define all these points where it looks like streets meet. And we're going to call those points vertices of the, of what's going to be called a graph. Now this is not graphs like, you know, your y equals x squared graphs from algebra. This is graphs as in a graphical representation, uh, of the situation. So we introduce these vertices to represent the intersections, and then we're going to add the, some edges now to represent the streets themselves. So along each of these streets, we're going to draw an edge. And when we put this all together, we get a graph. This graph represents the, the city. Uh, sort of taking away the back picture now, we would get something that looks like this. And here is a set of vertices connected by edges, and this defines a graph. The idea here is that we're simplifying the problem down from this sort of complicated picture, uh, to just the important things, the junction points and the edges themselves. And it's interesting to note that the specific layout here, uh, is not highly important. Really, it's just the connection and the length of those edges that matters.